role of governments. Governments can occasionally improve the coordinating function of markets. If there is price increase, there is inflation, if the government suspects that there is inflation, they can intervene to regulate the price, to control the price, so therefore to stabilize the price, to stabilize the price. And that is one of the roles of the government, price stabilization. So therefore, they, have the, they should have the willingness and the ability to intervene and find solutions in the, in the market structure because the prices are usually de determined with the interaction of demand and supply. So therefore, the government suspects that there is um, price increase, there is inflation in the production, in the sale of goods and services, or there is inflation in the economy or in the market system. Therefore, they have the intent incentive, they should have that idea, the motivation to enter the market in order to find solution. And if they, um, if they believe that this particular product is in high demand, and therefore the cost involved in the production is high, then the government can come and subsidize a certain amount of goods or a certain amount of inputs or a certain amount of money they can give it to the producers and when they produce so that they can reduce the price of those particular goods and services so that they can be affordable by the citizens. They can be bought by the citizens at affordable price. So governments can occasionally improve the, coordinate, the coordinating function of markets. So the study of government, the involvement of government, the study of economics is a very important um, issue. Now the economy as a whole and the standard of living. The economy as a whole and the standard of living. This is the third item and concept 8 falls under this. So therefore concept 8 talks about the production and the standard of living the production and the standard of living. So the standard of living of a great person in a particular country is dependent on its production of goods and services. So a rise in the standard of living requires a rise in the output of goods and services. What this concept is trying to analyze here is that the production is trying to relate the production with the standard of living. Of course, we did mention on the onset that one of the aims and objectives of the government is to make sure that there is, um, there, is, uh, there is high productivity. There is high productivity with, um, at the same time with efficiency. They make sure that there is high productivity with efficiency. If you